Well, hello, 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 hi, it is me, it is I. Small time, Didi, you're a and these are internet, hello, yalla. Hi, hello, we're in the new year. It's the second, I think it's the second, yes. And I was going to let those go, but I'm load shedding. <laughs> I'm load shedding and I'm still not back at work. I hope to be within the week. So we may as well sit and have a chat about it. Really, I was going to let it go because I just thought like, you know, it's been talked about that's enough but that's Simone Biles what are we talking about Simone Biles uh, but not just Simone Simone as the backdrop for something that I've picked up on that I feel like it confuses a lot of us as to why a certain kind of woman an accomplished woman in this instance is what we're going to talk about um high achieving in their field high achieving in general in that they stand out right um why they partner the way they do and it's not even just like obviously she's hyper visible right so she she's an like an easy person to use to have this conversation but the conversation is broader for me because i've seen it around me my whole life and it's always been like why why is it that that girl who's done so well never bothered to look up and mess with boys would end up with a guy like that why is it that when she finally does put her book down or whatever she ends up with some bum that's exactly why though personally right i know i have nothing to back this up just like this is just what i'm seeing i really feel like high achieving women are destined to end up with bums or especially if you are whatever it is that you are so good at like requires you to be hyper focused on it from the time you're very little and like it's a lifestyle and you make it a whole it's your personality it's your whole thing your your whole life you're working towards this goal from the time you're a little child and you you don't get to develop in other spaces and one of those things that becomes underdeveloped for you is your sense of discernment especially around things like relationships even friendships right a lot of the time i mean think venus and serena Look, look at Serena's dating record before she got with this man that's now cheating her, right? Look, think about it. Think about why. They were like this with their dad, like with their dad, right? Life was uh, tennis and their dad was like probably the most influential person in their life. And you don't get to bond and make... I look at her friend group a lot when she has events, Serena in particular. And it's a lot of Hollywood women and stuff. And I'm like, did she not have any childhood friends? Like, where are are these really these like megan is like her day one like wait what you know what i'm saying it's her simone you do not become a, like a world-class gym the most decorated gymnast like or if you weren't like tunneled into practice and you know we're doing gymnastics and it's finals and you're at school or you're at practice or you're do you understand there's no time to develop other parts of you. Haley and, uh, is it Harley or Haley? Haley Bailey and, and her sister, Chloe. They've been like entertainers from the time they were little kids, right? They've This is their dream and they've been like, it shows up in how they date and how they choose partners. In my community, the girls, <sighs> stem hands always end up with bums. I am so sorry. Those ones there, a girl will know from the time she's like a little girl that she wants to be a doctor and, you know, have a speciality of sorts. And she will just zone into that thing and be that like studious person. Parents make examples of her. Why can't you all be like so and so? Because we're running around messing with boys or, or not even. I wasn't running around messing with boys, but I was social enough to realize that boys are ill, you know? And she's just like, and then by the time she closes that book and she's like, oh, I'd actually like partnership. Her, that her thing isn't developed. That, 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 that built in thing that needs to be practiced that tells her, mm, mm, stop, right? It's not there. She's almost like her dating is that of an infant, like in terms of dating. It's like she's a, She's still a teenager or still a, a young woman trying to figure it out, except she's at a 
like age wise she's older so the pressure to get married and settle down that stuff is already there but she does not have the dating experience to make such drastic decisions as yet or she's young like the little mermaid like like, like hey she's still young like her but like <laughs> her you guys you all went better for that girl oh, and then you see oh my god and then you see like um People trying to defame that partnership. Like people who watch her YouTube channel because they're always on there together. I don't know if it's their channel as a couple. I don't know why she would do that. Actually, she might do that because... But anyway, where am I going with this chat? I want us as black women across the globe because I every time it comes out that Rihanna is pregnant by like some fucking colorist somewhere um, or... Uh, that Nicki Minaj who is partnered with that dude and then the Bobs are forced to come out and defend the decision for her to be with a person whose life is that muddy. You guys look stupid and you don't have to partake in these things. It is time to work on our parasocial bonds with these women. I beg. It is time for us to consume them because that's what they are. They are cons they are product purchased for us to consume. It's time for us to consume them and walk away. Because some of you be hurt, gutted to your core. I had to really sit down with myself and work through a lot of things when uh, Rihanna got pregnant by that boy. Because even when they were dating. But like Rihanna is an interesting one to me because I just... She's another one that I just feel... I don't know why you guys thought she was not going to end up with a person like that. I'm actually not sure what part of her history made you guys think she's going to end up with a titan of industry somewhere and live a nice, quiet life and know how, like, like she's Salma Hayek or something. Like Salma Hayek is the one who got with that guy who donated however much to have Notre Dame, um, what had happened there was it a fire or i think it was a fire but anyway a billionaire of sorts right we, we want our black girls to do that right to realize that they can actually move in different rooms they can end up with different men like they don't have to choose some boy that they would have ended up with even if she had stayed in barbados like her life like because really she could have pulled like an asapi type dude even if she was just like a girl out there at the island Truly. And I think that's what hurts us. What I need for us to do is just consume these girls and realize that they're just human. And they're going to make mistakes the same way we've been making mistakes with men. They're just under a microscope. So we'd be so sad. And I know we want to live out our dreams through them, like have them date up because they now understand that they are better positioned to do so. But they aren't going to do that. And instead of us coming out on the internet looking foolish, having to defend some of the decisions that they make um, as far as their love life goes, we just should sit back and be like, well, that woman wanted to make that decision. When is the album coming out? I really feel like we need to get to that point because it's getting bad, guys. The Bobs, you guys look sad. The people have seen to defend Nicki Minaj being with that woman just because you're a Bob. Now you have to defend that like shit where they say that man of hers has done this and that and she's now allegedly um, part of the remorse of trying to pressure his victims into letting their cases go or, or whatever it is that she was. Be now you have to come out and defend all of that? No, you don't. It doesn't make sense, you guys. It's not making sense. Let it go. Just sing the songs and let this woman go and do her foolish stuff. The other thing that like creates a lot of disappointment in us that maybe we seem to not understand is how much we don't live the same lives as these women. For instance, I date from a position of lack, right? I am at a particular age where when I'm dating, certain things are lower, on my list like all this love shit and i ugh, i just need to like you enough um truly <laughs> right i i had to think about it the other day i'm like oh my god 
I really need to just like you enough. You have to take the other things more, right? And the, the place of lack I'm talking about is, I tell you all the, guy, all, all the time, you guys, that I don't have medical aid, right? My socioeconomic needs have not been met. Rihanna's have. Simone Biles's have, right? Um, all the girlies that are dating down, as we say, their needs have been met. Whenever I see the discourse on the internet when we're talking about how could she go for that or Rihanna's a billionaire, how could she be with a guy who's like uh, less or makes less than her or whatever, what doesn't she have? Like in terms of what money can buy when she's ex existing in so much abundance. She's not going to date from the same position of lack that we are dating from. She's dating from a different place of lack where she needs community or she just needs to feel loved and she'll take it from anybody. Also, these kinds of girls just like a cute man. Personally, be ugly. I don't fucking give a shit. Like, I truly don't care. Whereas Simone probably thought, oh my God, he has dimples and he's ugly and, and you know, and, and, you know girl, literally, guys, girls who did not date enough want to keep man. Like they are obsessed with having a good looking man. Like a good looking man is a thing that they, 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 they need. And I am confused. It's not on my list. Like don't be filthy. Like hygiene, right? I don't care if you are, honestly guys, how much I don't care if a person is pretty or ugly is insane because I don't even have like, I can save the baby type of genes. You, you understand what I'm talking about, right? Like if I'm having a baby with like a person who's considered ugly, that baby just needs to fight. Like I, I, I'm here, like, you know? The baby needs to fight and I wish the baby luck. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. I did. No, I cannot be with this ugly man who can like make my life better just because you might be ugly as the baby. Like, shit. Sorry. Like, treat. But these kinds of girls where their needs are made, they can focus on things like that. We aren't dating from the same position. So when... FD Signifier did a good video on this when, um, I think it was titled Black Love. He changes his titles and thumbnails quite a bit, but he did a good video on this and his wife was, um, in some of the takes in there where he was talking about this, like this deep sense, this disappointment that we feel, um, when we see these, um, entertainers, uh, black in particular, women entertainers get pregnant by people whom we deem less or they are married. I don't know why you guys are always trying to have these successful women be legally tethered to these fucking bums. What's that about? You really want them tethered to these people? Like that? Like legally? Oh my God, no. It's bad enough they're going to have to deal with them with the babies and shit, but really guys, we really want them to get married to these... What am I saying? Um... Let it go. Rohana is actually not your sister, believe it or not. And Rohana didn't promise you your fairy tale where she ends up with, like, I don't know, the CEO of Shell fracking somewhere. Like, she, she, she never promised you that. And I know that's the idea we have that you climb up in life so that you can have access to better things and you're going to make those so called right decisions. But even ending up in partnership with those men that like the kind of men we think they deserve does not guarantee anything. If you already exist in that kind of abundance, I, I suppose all you do end up wanting is love. And that's a difficult thing to grasp and accept as a person who's still existing in so much insecurity. I would know like the medical aid thing fucks with me so bad, you guys. So, so bad. So you guys know I'm a stay-at-home child, so it's hectic, right? I can't, I can't do what they do and think it's cute. Now, I wish outside of all of that, they would just be with people who actually were nice to them, who, who said nice things about them in interviews, but that's a different thing. That's a different conversation. That man was fucking wrong and he knows that. I just wanted to unpack why it is they choose the way they do and how we could avoid it as regulars.
not confusing ourselves as like one of them. But that's it. Bye, Yala. Mwah.